Alright, here's my reference edge that's square. I got four inches. I think Roy did his about three and a half by an inch and a half by an inch and a half. I'm going four by two by two. It's a little bigger. Hey guys, um, if you don't know, snowy day in Mississippi, maybe an inch, the whole area is shut down. School's closed, everything. <laughs> Dave got a day in the shop. Day in the shop, how about a small, simple project? I'm thinking Roy's mutton tallow dovetail box. Chunk of walnut, if y'all been watching. Okay, I've got three sides done, and now... I'm down to the last side. So what I've done is I've completely scribed all the way around. And I'm high on one corner and just right there. I'm going to plane it down. And now I'll have a four by probably inch and seven eighths box after planing. Started with two. And we'll have a piece of square walnut to work with. The old post I had from somewhere bent on the ends knotted on the ends a little wormy, a couple worm holes they'll give it character. Kind of drew the lines of the grain a little bit maybe so you can help see them. Pretty good though. Notice the lines are here, center of the tree was here, bark was here. So it'll all get what would be quarter sawn wood or straighter grain. I'm going to put the lid up here. And at least the movement will be this way and not in an angle or twisted. Alright, as per Roy's instructions, this is a six and one. One and six, excuse me. This is what I'm gonna do my layout with. And I'm repeating them the depth. Okay, as instructed, two sides up so I can see the lines. cut here and here, two lines. The lid is here with the dovetail mark down here, okay? We don't want to cut this one all the way through on the top tablet, as Roy calls it. So I'm going to flip it and continue on the outside edge.
done. It's going to go right there. Now this one is straight, and in fact, I'm not even going to use it because it's uh, and her body goes on top like that. Now let's just take a look and just go back. Because I'm trying to make a one day project out of this, I'm using super glue. I'm cheating too, it's a gap filler. <clears throat> Alright, I didn't use tallow like uh, Roy did, I used wax, and I put a light coat of wax on things stops the rust also the ebony is and the walnut are very dark together not a lot of contrast there but there we go it will get a little wax apply it to the old rusty tool I did have to use a Forstner bit for the bottom. I do not own a spoon bit, so it's almost glued. We use a drill press on it. There you go.